All right, Asian American is asking a question. He's saying, is in your opinion, was the unaliving? I think un, am I reading that unaliving mm -hmm. is a mm -hmm. okay. Unaliving he, is he's using that term instead of another one. So another one that's like social media way of mm -hmm. using the D word as a way for you not to get censored. The unaliving of Fred Hampton by the FBI justified. Okay, so maybe we should tell people who this guy is. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, are you are you familiar with this story? Because I I knew even before I saw this, uh, bef before the show today, I know about Fred Hampton. Um, there's a couple of different reasons. One of the reasons I'll point out is that there's a band called Rage Against the Machine, who has been a a very vocal protest type band since the '90s, and they have a lyric that is specifically focused on this individual and. Um, the acts of the FBI against him. So um, okay. definitely, definitely an interesting story. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. First of all, Secular Sakai just gave us a $2 Whoop. super chat with the Atheist Republic emojis, the lion, the circle, and the horse. That's pretty good. Thank you. Love it. Um, thank you so much for your support. Um, but, okay, but was he actually killed by the... So this... First yes. of all, let's see. Who, who, yes, he was an American was. activist, okay, and I'm assuming anti-racist activist, right? Yeah. Anti-racism. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're going to see in just a second Black Panther Party high up as well as NAACP. So. Okay, okay. And so so it's not a conspiracy that he was killed like he was actually killed by the FBI. So if you if you go down a little bit further because again, I was familiar with this story, but um, I wanted to look a little bit further into it to make sure that I was uh, remembering correctly. If you go look down to his assassination, what you will find is that when he was when he was killed, um, ultimately it was a, an early morning raid um, at like four in the morning. They shot the person that was sitting out, um, you know, by the door. Basically, there are conflicting reports as to how they shot him, but they did shoot that person and killed him. They ultimately went into uh, Fred Hampton's room and they woke up his pregnant wife and had her leave the room and eventually would shoot him point blank in the back of the head. So why? why? Because he was a he was a prominent activist in the Black Panther movement, as well as in the NAACP. Um, there are there are. I don't think it's recordings. I think it's actually writings, but I could be wrong because we do have some recordings from J. Edgar Hoover. Um, but Hoover, during his reign as the FBI head, has made very explicit statements in the past, one of which was directed at Martin Luther King. That mm -hmm. specific statement was basically along the lines of, if he continues with this shit, we should try and kill him. Now, obviously, I'm paraphrasing, um, but there is lots and well, lots and lots of information. Unalive him. Unalive him. Unalive. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, YouTube, please do not. Please. We're not, we're we're not advocating for that. People who are already right. dead, YouTube. Right. Like, like, yeah. um, but yes, they it, under, under J. Edgar Hoover's um, tenure, he very much focused on a lot, a lot, a lot of um, activists in the black community, um, activists for equal rights. Um, these types of things. And he's, he's, we have some very explicit statements from him where he is, he is very clearly just wanting to find dirt. There was even a high up FBI investigator at the time who was sent a response from Hoover when this investigator basically said, We've looked into Hampton a lot and we really can't find anything that he's doing. Hoover's response was basically, you will find something or you won't have a job. And mm. so, yeah, it, it unfortunately, it was very, uh, it, so, it is, yeah, go ahead. So how, I mean, the question seems strange, though. How would you answer the question? Yeah, how would you, yeah, I mean, why would, no, it's not justifying, no. Why would, okay, I'm actually <laughs> have a different question myself. Why would Gaijin Americans <laughs> assume that there's a chance that me or secularity would be like, oh yeah, FBI killing this activist, completely justified. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. extrajudicial, <laughs> outside, like just like, like suddenly, suddenly just everything like, about like you and this channel and everything just completely changes, and we're just like, you know what? Actually, yeah. this one, 
not bad outside not of bad. yeah just like yeah, execute but, people without, like, yeah it, it definitely it person. definitely is one of those chapters of of history in the united states that is is pretty atrocious um and yeah again this this was something that i i was familiar with but i wasn't um completely um completely sure that i understood everything uh, about the scenario but upon an further investigation, while I may not agree with some of the things that Fred Hampton was wanting, like there are some policies that he was advocating for that I don't agree with. And, and that's fine. That doesn't matter. That's that's the same with a handful of other people throughout history. Right. Um, but to go to the point of, of, you know, busting down his door to his house at four in the morning and um you know, just shooting him point blank. Also, if I remember correctly from, from my research today, if I remember correctly, there was uh, somebody that was fairly close to, to Fred Hampton who uh, was working with the FBI as like an informant and ultimately gave him um, barbiturates, if, if you know, the, 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 those drugs, like uh, really intense, like, you know, muscle relaxers and stuff basically drugged drugged friend hampton the day before um before the raid because they knew that the raid was going to happen tomorrow and that individual not only drugged fred hampton the night before but also was the individual who gave the fbi uh the information that there was a large stash of weapons at this house which i don't think they actually recovered so possibly lied and then drugged the man and was party to him being um executed unalived get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description